exploration games. Played a couple games like it. Stomp Plunk. What are you doing, Grandma? It's a big grandma. And uh, Babdi. From a distance, these games look drastically different. But let me tell you that they're the same. They're the same because they both let you explore some wacky world some person made up. Where am I going? And I love it. I love exploring people's ideas, their imagination. It's almost like you're taking a piece of their psyche, their brain, their personality, and they make a world out of it, and you get to walk around it. When I get up there, I see a thing. Oh, no! I, I did not mean to do that. So let's talk about Stomp Plunk. It's a pretty chill game. You open up the game, you click on the EXE, and it instantly starts you in the game. No menu, no way to quit, no options. Very indie, very cool. Could use some options though, because uh, I can't control the, the anything. Let's see, E, Q, every other button. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and the game leaves you to figure out what to do. No directions, no nothing. You just walk around and look at NPCs, essentially. You have a loot that you can play. Some people say money cannot be yeah, true. Be true. And if you play it in front of certain NPCs, they musically respond to you. Rob. Try that. <laughs> How about this? I broke it. <laughs> teleport around by bumping into things like that game that in this game right there if you travel around enough you'll find that there's a king that actually gives you a goal of what to do With this goal you gotta find all the knights that are lazying about oh yeah he stopped moving <laughs> he's reacting to it <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's it, that's the only goal. But really, the enjoyment comes out of just walking around, finding NPCs and things, different uh, set pieces to look at. As you can tell, this game has a very silly hand-drawn style. I love simple, like almost MS Paint looking art styles. It, it shows up front that this game's gonna, it's tongue in cheek. Oh, oh my god. Every NPC, wonderful to look at. NPC animations are tied to the music. This is like one of the main draws that drew me into the game. And the music is like all synchronized. And the world feels very alive as a result. It's fun, it's goofy, it's delightful. It's a warm and cozy game experience. I think I found everything in about an hour and a half. And I highly recommend Stomp Plunk. Stomp Plonk actually described itself as a walking simulator, and this game is definitely not a walking simulator. Oh, technology. Uh, keep going. But they are both exploration games, so let's get into it. The point of playing this game is that you explore the city of Babdi. It's this Slavic, brutalist style city, dark brooding, suppressive looking. But you get to walk around just like Stomp Plonk and, and meet NPCs to interact with. These NPCs are also very beautiful and enjoyable to look at. Look at that. Look at it. Stung by a bee. Oh yeah, this is a fun, fun couple of games. It's not fun anymore. But the difference here is that you get items that you can uh, use to help you move around the world a bit differently, more efficiently. Some of these items, they help you go faster or use items to get higher up. What do I do with this? Oh! Let me go pick up, pick up, pick up. The city's full of towering cement buildings. All the textures are just cement, which is kind of funny thinking that these buildings are entirely made out of cement, but that adds to the suppressiveness, the depression that this world is crushing your soul down with. One step at a time, I can make you home. 
Oh. Your main objective in the game is to find a train ticket so you can leave the city. Some NPCs will help you out, but some are also just minding their own business. Hello? She, she, chilling. There's this funny contrast to the dreadful, brutalish design of the city with these hilarious NPCs. Oh no! I'm sorry, everybody. Diaper party. I'm a Ia Pengina. The whole experience of playing this game is like a dream. Everything feels so empty, but all the NPCs act like they're in a, a city full of people, like everything's normal. Oh. Oh, get on my motorcycle and go. The sounds are pretty funny too. It kind of adds to that, that dreamlike experience. Everything sounds like an old European cartoon. I feel like if I fell asleep watching those Tom and those European Tom and Jerry cartoons, I would have a dream like this. Uh, oh. There's a trumpet as well. That's probably the best item in the game. This game makes me want to be quiet. <gasps> yeah. It took about an hour and 15 minutes to complete this experience, roughly the same as Stomp Plunk. It may have been short, but it was a very nice, fulfilling experience. Loved exploring, and I would totally play more of this game, if there were more to play. Both of these games were very fulfilling, but I would like more content from the games. I want them to be longer. I understand that these are like really short free games that these developers are putting out, but I think if they're trying to test the waters at all, like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hooked. I think Stomp Plunk could have another world to travel to with new goals to accomplish. Because I just love walking around that Stomp Plunky world. I want I want to see more of what uh, of that. I want. <laughs> Babdi could continue its story into the next city and maybe do the same formula, but just it's a different place. Maybe they could have your character uh, travel to many places that are all dreamlike in their own way. After playing these two games, I've developed a love for weird, imaginative exploration-based indie games, and I will continue looking for more of them. Thank you for watching. If you want to play these games, then check out their links in the description. Stomp Plunk is on HIO and Babdi is on Steam. Check out the other videos I have of these games in the second channel as well. They're pretty funny. You can also watch the full stream right here. Please like the video if you liked it. I also have extra free content over at my Patreon if you want to. Wait, 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 don't leave yet.